All right. So ladies and gentlemen, I'll try to make this one very, very quickly. But what we want to be able to do on question number six, that's written right up there. What we'd like to do for this problem is to go ahead and take a look at um, how to be able to prove parallel lines. Now remember, we can prove parallel lines if we have alternate interior angles that are equal in measure, if we have alternate exterior angles that are equal in measure, if we have consecutive interior angles that the sum of the two angles is equal to 180, or if we have corresponding angles that are equal in measure. So the first thing we need to do is we look at these two angles, and we need to identify how are these angles related to each other. And yes, they're alternate exterior. So if I can show for what values alternate exterior angles are equal, I can show when our lines are going to be parallel. Right? Yes? OK. So let's go and take a look. So we know we need to be able to show what values are alternate exterior angles equal in value. So what I do is I set both angle equal to each other, right? Because the measures are supposed to be equal. Now, this is not a proof, so we don't need to write this down. But you guys do need to justify. If you guys write an equation in this class, Richard, is this the one you have written down? When you guys write an equation in this class, you need to be able to tell me why you're writing that equation. So I'm writing that equation because I have alternate exterior angles. And I want to show that alternate exterior angles are going to make my two lines parallel when we have a certain value. So now I solve for x. So I get my x's on the same side. right? And then I can add. So what that states is now when x equals 20, when x equals 20, my alternate exterior, alternate exterior angles are equal in value. And when they're equal in value, that now just shows that m, so when x equals 20, m is parallel, or m is parallel to l. OK? Yes? So what's the one that 